everybody. This is Sherry from Share Bear Cottage. And today we're going to work on um, Roxy Creation Weekly Challenge number 11. I've looked everywhere in my house and I cannot find vellum paper. And I know I've had some, <clears throat> a little box. But first, before we begin, I just want to say... Um, Hello, I'm happy to have you here, and we'll see what we can do with what we have. What I found that I thought might work was this is deli paper, and a friend of mine gave me, gifted me some deli paper. It's so pretty and so delicate. It's already folded in half, so I thought that way, you know, it would work, you know, in a uh, journal because let's measure it because it's like five and a quarter inches wide now if need be we could you know cut some off but generally let's see if I can grab a piece of copy dyed paper right here it might be a tad and I'm saying a t tiny bit tiny bit too wide let's check but if it's just hanging out a little bit I'd be okay with that because I like the edges you know the edges have that little um, I don't know paper bag look to it <clears throat> but I think these would fit in here just perfect oh look at that see they fit just perfect you know and if they're sewed in that'd be fine if they're not sewed in, they'll still fit. So I'm happy about that. Okay. I didn't check that beforehand. So I pulled out three of these. Three, yeah, three of these. And then I ran across some tracing paper. Now, <clears throat> you know, this is not as thin as uh, vellum. And it's not as stiff as vellum. But... It, it's a pretty good thickness. Let's see. Um, had that tablet right here, but I don't see it this second. Oh, here it is. Let me see if it has on here. This is 40 pound or 60 gm. Uh, and it's the Tracy clear translucent paper, it says. So this is what we're going to use. I think I probably got this at a garage sale. <laughs> anyway, let's try it. So, um, I think we'll start with the... Uh, oh, and I had cut out some flowers. Got some backing sheets and some uh, paper, you know, to go in, to go on. I've also got um, this that I got from... Uh, Temu, and um, I have some uh, paper strips that I uh, also made uh, stickers of, so it's like washi tape paper. Okay, also have some washi tape at hand here. All right, so um, these are pretty long. These, I think these are uh, probably 9 by 12s. You know, that's what they usually measure. Yeah, that's a 9 <clears throat> and a 12. All right, so we're going to take off about three inches. And I say about because I probably won't measure too good. Um, let's do it with the real one. I think we can do them all at the same time. If I can line them up all at the same time. And I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, had a busy day yesterday. A friend came over to help me with my laundry. So I'm going to take like three inches. Maybe I should take a little bit more. Maybe three and a half. No, nope. I'm going to take three inches. I'll make it six. When it's doubled, it'll only be three. All right. And the other ones, the um, deli paper will be bigger. Okay. So these are, are pretty cute pockets. They can be used as a sewn in your journal and and save these because she's going to be using these on 
number um, 12. Um, I'm always a week behind, Rachel. And then these ones. Here, I am i don't know if I'm going to take any off or not. Because um, I'm going to fold them up. Okay, so let's start with these. <laughs> My fingers are so slick. Slick, slick, slick. Okay. So let's fold these up about, I don't know. She said about a third, so we can do about a third here, about like that. These look a little smaller. I maybe took too much off. Maybe hers were longer the other way. I'll just fold these together. Get two folds done at once. Okay. My bone folder out here. We'll fold them all. And uh, at the same time, how's that? I never do mass make because I seem to have trouble doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I get stuck on one and and want to stay with that one until I get it done. So, but I'll try this part. I'll do them together. We'll fold these up. I guess about that much. I don't know how much that is. Looks like about maybe maybe three inches or close. All right, so we got all six of them folded. And this one already has a folded mark in them, so that's the mark I'm going to use to fold them the other way. Like this. What happened to them? Oh, here, I threw my bone folder way over there. I don't know why. Okay. There's that, two, and three. These jelly papers are so nice, I forget I have them. Or maybe I'm just hoarding them subconsciously. I I do that, too. <clears throat> All right, and then this one. I'll do this one in half. I'm doing everything upside down today. I hope that's not an indication of what our product's going to turn out. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it'll turn out nice like Rachel's. <laughs> okay. And this one. Okay. So here we have one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Now what Rachel did was she took one and then she started decorating the front. Okay, so I have papers here and I'm going to use some dictionary page, some old book, and these cutouts that I have. And, oh yeah, she stapled, she stapled hers and with a stapleless stapler. <clears throat> I don't have that. So I'm gonna use um, some of this tape. This is double-sided tape, this is like, what? an eighth of an inch. I don't know. This is small. I think it's bigger than an eighth. Yeah, this is a quarter. I have some eighth around somewhere. That's my story. Somewhere. <laughs> Anybody else have somewhere in their house? <laughs> you probably do. If you're a crafter, you probably do. Oh, it's somewhere. <laughs> Because I'm using this because since I don't have the stapler <clears throat> and 
I, um, whoops. I don't want it to wrinkle. And I don't want to put staples in it, right? We want to make it flat. Not have staples in there, although I thought about staples and then I thought, oh, I don't want to do staples. What else could I use? And then I thought, oh, I could use this tape. But I thought I had smaller tape than this. But this should work, should work fine. Then we're going to pick this off. Take the backing off, hopefully without taking the, the front off. Let me just smooth it down here. Okay. There we go. And we'll do this side before we um whoop. I didn't get it very close to the edge. Maybe the next one will be better. Try to get it as close to the edge as you can if you do this. Oh my goodness. And one eighth width would be plenty. This feels a little too big for me to have on the edge here. But you see, you can't see it. It doesn't bubble like it would if I put glue on there. Any kind of glue that I put on a tracing paper or a vellum or something like that is going to buckle, you know, ripple or wrinkle, however you want to say it. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Are we out of time? No, just kidding. I don't think we're out of time yet. Good Lord, I hope not. How much time have we used? 12 minutes. Okay. Okay. Now here's the next portion. I'm going to try to get it to the edge as close as I can. I feel all thumbs today. Well, I keep cutting my nails down. I have them cut down just above bleeding, if you know what I mean. Because I'm trying to get those bad spots, you know, half of my nails bad, to grow out. So I
right. Now, maybe we can do one from this side and one from that side. I'm hoping to get six of them done. Oh, I didn't start my clock. I'll set it for 20 minutes. See what happens. Okay. Now, let's put down some papers. This is old dictionary pages. Um, sometimes, you know, I like to leave the edges on. And sometimes I like to take them off. Because um, if they have that beautiful patina on them from being so old, eh, lots of times I want to leave that on, if you know what I mean. And let's just do this one right here. Love it. Uh-oh, what did I do with my glue? Okay, hang on, guys. Be right back. Well, you know what, guys? I'm so, so happy that I had to go get my glue because I remembered that we have to do some stamping. Yeah. So I don't know. This is a new glue. Couldn't find the one I was using yesterday, of course. Oh, yeah. It's good. All right. So we have to do some stamping on these. I forgot all about that. So I'm thinking we could do the stamping on three of them in black and three of them in brown. What do you think? Think that'd be nice? I got a couple of my favorite stamps out here and I'm using stays on ink. And um, I like these swirly things. I've ordered some little uh, pieces of acrylic blocks. Hopefully they'll be in soon. Well, that didn't work very good, did it, guys? Maybe the brown, I haven't used it for a while. Maybe the brown's not gonna be an option. Let's, um, let me just try this. And the stays on, I don't think I have any more ink for the stays on. Let me just look real quick. Now, this is all distress oxide. Hmm. We'll try this. If this doesn't work, you know, I'll use black on the next one. not working very good okay we won't use this I do have some uh, truffle truffle something or other um, I have ground espresso oxide I don't know how that would look I'm gonna try to go right over that spot we just did. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that's better, but it <laughs> looks like you have bad eyesight. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. So she just did a few here and there, and that's what I'm going to do. I like this one. It looks like a an old mm, stone wall or something. I'll put it like half and half. Although this half down here is going to be covered up anyway. Yeah. 
Okay, let's just go with that. <laughs> I'll try the black in a minute. Um, well, actually, I want to stamp a couple. So let's stamp another one brown. Let's stamp. Well, let's use the music. We got the music right here. Always like to have music. See? And be conscious of if you put your music on upside down or right side up. Um, I don't care if it's sideways, but, you know, it just seems disrespectful to the music maker to put it on upside down, backwards. Oh, how nice that looks. That looks really good. Here's some lace. Let's put some down here. Mm -hmm. Let's put it along the side because we're going to put paper. This paper wants to move around all over. This is the... Oh! <laughs> this is the... Um, Dilly paper. Oh, I got a little bit of that off. Only because it's the oxide. Okay. Now. <laughs> I, this first one is going to look... I'm not putting anything down here because I'm going to cover that up anyway. So let's stamp a couple more. Use some more of this. Mm -hmm. Like that. And you know, I like this stamp, too. Let me get this out of here. This stamp has all kinds of stuff on it. So good. I like that. Okay. Let's put a little bit more up here, maybe. I don't know how much I got on here. There. Perfect. Okay, let's let this dry. See, I'm touching it. I'm getting it all over. Uh-oh. Can't do that. I don't want to ruin everything. That's one reason why I don't do too many aggressively painty things because I mess everything up. Unless I'm just doing painting, you know, then that's that's a different story. Okay, I want to put some, oh, we don't need to use that because it's not working. I got to put that aside, make sure I take care of that. All right, now where's here? Um, I'll do this one in brown too. Oh my goodness. Don't you just love this? It's got all these things on it. I don't have to worry about moving it around really. Oh, look at that. So nice. Oh, I love that. Okay, now that was on the, um, on these guys, the, um, tracing paper. Come on, brain, you can work. And then we need to put, I'm just going to use brown all the way. I like it. I'm going to use it. Put some music. Okay, and there we go. Get it on the right.
right side. These ones, um, Rachel did not um, decorate the back side. So um, that's optional. You can decorate the back side or not. Up to you. Beautiful. Okay, let's let these dry a little bit before I continue. Got one more to stamp and then I'm gonna let them dry. Okay, you guys, well, I had to take these out to the other room to dry them. Um, because of the type of paper they are, I think especially the tracing paper, they, and this one still has some marks that aren't completely dry. Anyway, the ink kind of pools up, I guess you would say. And so it takes a while to dry. This one's still not completely dry. I see some little spots on all of those. And that's the um, tracing paper. This one here is dry. This one is dry and this one is dry so the um the little deli paper appears to dry faster so we'll work on the deli paper first all right i'll let those continue to dry and then we'll work on them okay um i did get stuff on the back for moving them around so this will have to be inked or stamped or um, stenciled if you have it floating you know in your book or if you have it sewed in your book because you'll be turning that page okay <clears throat> all right so let's just get some papers and some decorations on here. All right, let me get my glue book. Oh, while I was out there, I also got some of this darker paper. I think it's so pretty. It's from a uh, Reader's Digest book that I've been making. Um, you know, I've been making faux cardstock and I've been making tags and I've been making pockets in my spare time. <laughs> yes, while well, I'm watching TV. All right, guys. Here we go. Hopefully, we can get a couple of these decorated before it's time to quit. This one is so blurry up here. I'm going to put this one up here. Now, I know Rachel didn't put anything up there, but I'm going to. Just smooth it down. I'll put some more down here. And... Maybe I can just put some across the bottom here. It doesn't matter. There's no rules, right? I know it's a challenge, but I can change it up for me a little bit. Yeah, I think so. There, there's that one. That's pretty color. Um, I have some of this paper. This is pretty white, but let me tear some off. This was gifted to me also. I have no idea what kind of paper this is. It's in a roll. And this is what it looks like. And what does it say? It just says finished black half square triangle. Maybe it's for um, making quilts. I don't know what else uses triangles. I've never made a quilt. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to cut some of this up. A few pieces. I should have, uh, and I might still do it someday, take some of these and um, make it uh, coffee dyed. Yeah, that sounds like fun. 
Let's put a piece over here. I know it's white, but um, since the background, you know, the paper's white itself, I don't think it's going to look bad. All right, let's see. What have I got over here? I can put maybe a bunny here. I think he would look real cute there. I just need to cut this little piece off with my little scissors go. Here they are. Let's cut a piece of his background off. Doesn't he look cute there? I like him. Everybody's got bunnies on the brain, right? <laughs> what does bunnies have to do with eggs and Easter? I don't know. Maybe because bunnies uh, have lots of babies in the springtime? Would that be it? See, in this old age of mine, there's always something to learn, right? There, he looks cute. I think I like it. Uh, do you think it needs anything else? I don't know. Maybe something down here. What about some of this stuff? What have we got here? Let me see. A piece of this down here. Cut it. This is the stuff that I've run through my... Uh, I think it's called the uh, Xyron. It makes uh, stickers. And it's really fun. It, I think I'll put it up above the number. Kind of over to this side. Like that. There, yeah, that looks cute. I like it. Okay, next. <laughs> I've got a lot of bunnies here I can use. Okay. Next one is this one with the music. And let's start tearing some paper. Thought I had some torn. Okay. We will work on this. Oops, I missed the trash can. Oops, hold on, guys. Well, that was a spam call. Mm-hmm. Seem to be getting a lot of those lately. I don't know how to stop them, so they just keep a coming. I like these straight arrows or whatever they are. So we need a, a lighter piece of paper. Now, I just tore some up. How can it not be here? Oh, here we have some of this, too. Um, okay. we need on that bunny. We need a flower, don't we? I did flowers. We'll come back and do flowers. Okay. I gotta hurry, huh? I want to put a flower here too, but I'll come back and do that. Okay. And the next one, we have a piece of this.
Well, it's Saturday, guys, and I'm behind schedule as usual. <laughs> but um, I will be making making it up. Oop, this way. I kind of like it up there a little bit. Right here on the edge. Okay. That's those three. Now let's see how these are doing. These still, I can't believe these still have spots on them that aren't dry. Wow. Now this is the tracing paper. So, you know, remember that when you, when you go to do this. Okay. This one here, I put um, black and brown on it. I wanted to see how it would look. So I did that. Dictionary page. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe some of this white stuff underneath. Put it like that and then put some like this. Nope, I don't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, where's that other color? Here. This color might look better. This is kind of fragile, this paper. Glad I got that other color when I went out in the other room. And I wanted to put a piece of this on too. I'll just put it on top. that one and I didn't get my dictionary page in there did I <clears throat> okay let's do this one I'll have to iron these or something because they want it to pop up when I was heating them up you know when I was trying to dry them, I did it on low heat, but it still wanted to curl up. Wish that my hair would do that. I want to curl up when I'm trying to uh, <laughs> dry it. Whoop. Dropped it. I think I'll just take this top off. this one this one I like the best so far there's some little edges that are sticking over but I'm not worried about those I can always you know just snip those off like this later on yeah okay I don't know if I want any more I don't I like that one okay next is the last one this is the one that had the most trouble drying and this one I'm gonna put a couple of swatches on the top mm, I need to get a new glue page right there right here and on the bottom, let me 
be some of this darker page. Oh, I did two pages. See, I can't even tell because they're so, um, uh, but you know, this book, this Reader's Digest book, they must have been using real cheap paper in the 90s because it's from like 94. Oh, dear. There went my flying ruler. Ooh. Yeah, and look at how it's uh, aged. Okay, I'll put some of this here. Maybe a little piece of this over here, and then something on top of that. Can go right in the corner. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. You know, these used to be fabric sheared. I'm going to have to take my little sticker off that told me it was for fabric only. Because now it's been used for bluey paper. <laughs> okay, don't stick to me. Okay. All right, now let's see. Where's my bone folder? This is so kind of out of shape. Let's look for. Move some of these. I have just a little bitty space here to work on. I've got stuff everywhere, so I'm sorry. It takes me a little longer to get to what I'm trying to get to. And um, I've got some flowers made and some little pieces with a little bit of color, but I don't know. You know. See how this looks. Oh, that looks kind of pretty, huh? I'm not even a blue fan, but I like that. Maybe a little piece of this over here. Yeah, I like that better. Let's put that there. That's what I did yesterday. I, I did uh, in between the laundry. <laughs> My friend helping me, thank God. I did a lot of cutting. Wore my wrist out. <laughs> okay, so far, so good. I'm liking that. You guys liking that? Okay. Turn that one over. Another one here. This one. How about a big round kind of... Oh, this is a nice... Oh, that was just one. No. Mm. This one has black and brown on it. Mm, I kind of like that one. I like that one. Uh oh, <laughs> sticking to my page. Yikes. we think that one's pretty huh okay I'm having my favorites already guys 
Oh, here I have a bunny to put a flower on. And this one, oh, these are the other ones. I think I have one more of these, don't I? Well, yes, one, two, here it is, three. This is my favorite one without anything on it. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Do we want something long and tall or something wider? Well, here's a, a wide one with pink on it. That's kind of pretty. Oh, I like that one. I'm going to put some more bunnies on. I don't know if I have any little bunnies. I got big bunnies. And a little bunny like this. And then this could go up there. Behind the bunny, maybe. Let's see. All we can do is try it, right? It's only paper. Got to remind myself, it's only paper. Got a little bit more to cut out here. Cut out his little paws. Speaking of paws, I've got to cut my poor little baby, Mr. Bentley. I've got to cut his little um, claws. His nails are so, so long. Poor thing. Bad mommy. There we go. He's cute, huh? Oh, he's cute. I like that one. Okay, now let's get the other bunny and these three <laughs> he looks so cute i wanted to put a bunny on these guys too but i think they're all too big Ooh, how did that happen so sorry had to take a phone call i don't know what to put on here Nothing seems to be. Now that's nice and big. That looks kind of good, doesn't it? Over the bunny. Maybe. For this one here, I have a little bunny. Where did he go? Right here. I just put, I had two of these and I put one on here. And I put this one on here. Like there. Or do I want them up here? I kind of like them up there. All right. There he is. Cute. Cute. Okay, and this one... I don't know, maybe this would look better. Big old bloom. Oh, I like it better. Okay. Oh, that's cute. All right, now this one, let's get something blue or purple or yellow out here. Yellow. I don't have any. I have these bunnies. I could put them on there. Oh, that looks cute, huh? They going round and round in a circle. <laughs> like that. 
your fingers get real sticky. Get real, real sticky with uh, doing stuff like this. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Okay. I like that. All right. And we got one more here. This one's pretty. I think it, it, this one wants a big, tall flower, if we can find one. Do we like that one? It's kind of uh, tall. We have a big bunny here. We could, you know, like, kind of do it like that. That's kind of cute. Um, let's see what else we got. Look at these. Oh, I was cutting these sticky... I think these are called thistle, thistles. I don't know. Look at those stickers. Cutting them out made me itch. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I'm a basket case. This is a pretty one. Let's see this one. Oh, how about a daisy? Well, a sunflower. Sunflower's cute. We can put the bunny on there. And the sunflower. Oh my. I cut a big old slice of glue on that bunny. On that bun bun. You know, I used to have a bunny like this. This one isn't that old. Um, but I used to have a bunny like this way long time ago. Um, and his name was Roger, and this was way before Roger Rabbit. Oh, yes, way before. And um, he was a big lop bunny. He wasn't little. And, um, you know, I had a cat, too, and the cat and him used to run around the backyard and jump, and he'd jump at the cat, and the cat would jump at him. Oh, they'd have so much fun together. And, um, yeah, then I moved and I had to have somebody rehome him. And, um, he was just as cute as could be. He loved, I could put him on my lap when he was little, of course, you know. But as he grew, I mean, he was longer than from my body to my knees. So he, his, uh, back feet were clear up at my chest you know, to sit on my lap, but he loved to sit on our lap. He was cute. He was a cute bunny. That looks very cute. I love that. All right. Now, let's see what time it is. It's been an hour, guys. I guess my timer is not working. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. So, it's been an hour. I'm going to have to stop here, but I'm going to decorate a little bit more. Uh, with some trim on these and um, I got to punch the holes in them there's two holes on each side and put the um, the tie on that and then I'll take a picture and let you see how they're at at the end of the video okay so sorry it took so long but um, I'm just a little slow I guess so I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you um, like this video and you want to come back for some more, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you check the, uh, the bell. Click on the bell, and you'll be notified when I do have a new upload. And also, if you share... You share this to someone else, it'll help me on YouTube. So, <clears throat> I thank you for all your help, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, here we have our final pockets. And that's one. Now, these are the ones that are made with the, um, the delicate... Um, paper that's two and this one this is the third one those didn't come out as darling as can be i don't know what 
This one here, I put a little little leaves on the bottom. This one, I have a little that uh, furry yarn and some <clears throat> oh pearl like things. And then this one is just you know one of my favorite bunnies. Tied them, put the holes in. I did put um, rings around them on both sides so that. It would be strong on both sides you know because you'll be getting into these you know they're just a bow and putting in your your items so it's you know cute or adorable this one I put a double bow on just to just you know, something a little different okay okay now these ones are the ones that were made out of the tracing paper They also, I put the um, little reinforcers there for the paper, some little twine. This one has a uh, piece of sari silk on it. And the last one here, I also put some um, of these leaves on the bottom with the little bunny down here and a little piece of sari silk up there. And I also have these reinforcers on the back side, too. So, just to be safe when you're getting in and out of your pockets. I will probably um, collage something on the back of these because I got ink all over them. Tried to take some of it off, but some of it won't come off. So, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Bye-bye.